Not the seer. Oh, well, nothing, nothing can get tossed. Oh! Hello, folks. Welcome back. Or for you might not recognize me, and, and, and no, I am not the Gordon Fisherman, for I am the one and the only... Oh, that's the right volume. Hobo Tom. If I'll take my little survival hat off. Hi, everyone. Yes. Um, I'm going to try and make this video. Let me curl this up a little bit. Make it look a little bit more presentable. There we go. Yep. For I am still in a hurricane mode. Um, for those of you who have given some support via YouTube, Facebook, and other mediums, thank you very much. You do not realize how heartfelt an experience it is to have someone say, Hey, how are you? Are you doing okay? Um, asking me if I'm floating in the river is not necessarily good because because then that's a bad place to be. But yep, for I'm the one, the only, I am a hobo, Tom. And just to let my friends and other people know, um, Ian hit us pretty hard here in Florida. Here in Daytona Beach, we got zonked. I think the hurricane chose to stall. This house was without, my house was without power for at least, I think, three days. Power came on. Um, you can probably see that there's, the carpet's a different color. Yeah, and, and instead of the door of wrestling, that's the bathroom. So it's a little bit different view of stuff. Um, I'm just kind of going through stuff. I've gotten in touch with adjusters, insurances, um, gotten emergency supplies. I'd like to let everyone know I do have a place to live. I'm actually living quite comfortably at my parents, which has a nice, nice condo, which... You might see some pictures of. You will see pictures of. What am I saying? This is my YouTube channel. Um, so yeah. Again, I like to thank everyone for their outpouring of support. Except for YouTube. YouTube's freaking evil. You know, you figured YouTube would have figured out something during the pandemic. Everyone who had a YouTube channel who wasn't monetized during the pandemic, they just should have been automatically monetized and say, hey, here's a little way to, to make things better. But no bunch of a-holes um that and i probably won't get monetized in fact who knows this video might not even get up um when there are these major life-changing events hurricanes houses getting wrecked youtube just should, should just say you know what we know our corporate policy but here if you want to make an extra 50 bucks a month to help restore the books aren't bad Carpet sucks. Not one bookshelf dying. That one book, <laughs> that one bookshelf I've had. Jeez, forty-five years. So yeah, but you know what? No, YouTube should just monetize everyone. You want? You live in the state of chaos in Florida? We'll monetize you. We'll let you try to get yourself back on your feet. And you know what? To those of you who say, hey, do you need anything? I am a hobo. I work for a living. I'm no bum. I would like to thank you though for your considerations. Don't I know people people out here in Florida are probably a lot worse off than I am. My neighbor's house got totally flooded. They just said screw it, we're throwing everything out. I am going through the salvaging process. Um, that is going to take a few days. So the other thing I have to say to my YouTube audience. Because of all this chaos going on, um, I'm not going to be able to do some live... I'm pro I, well, I can't do any live streaming, unfortunately. Um, can't do live streaming. I will try and get some videos up when I can. They're going to be really catch-as-catch-can for the next month, month and a half. I will try to have content. This video, hopefully, if I'm lucky, goes up either today or, or tomorrow at the latest. Uh, uh, wall was open. Thank the heavens for small favors. I got to have my stuffed crust, pret my stuffed pretzel with cheese, and got two sodas, one for lunch. Actually, that was my lunch, and one for a little snack tomorrow. Maybe because I'm busy too. But yeah, um, I will try and get some videos up as I can. I will try and get. 
at least prediction videos and maybe some some results videos up uh, I still have a whole list of thank yous here here's somewhere to give out yep I have a whole list of thank yous from the last live stream I did it's it's called just time and time is not on my side however because I am the one and the only hobo Tom this is gonna be a special video for everyone well, how to make a, a drunken cheesecake yes because you know what you can't all be gloom and doom all the time you have to be out there and say you know what I need to be positive because I'll tell you what I'm, I'm probably the more positive person that I've ever seen not saying I can make chicken salad out of chicken eyeballs but yeah I try to be there and again you my YouTube audience you give me the inspiration to make these videos if it wasn't for you guys I'd probably be well drying stuff and getting work done but that's okay again I'd like to thank everyone for watching and again thank you so much for all the support um concern I'll even say this all the love because I love you. Yeah, that's my probably terrible brother love impersonation. But again, I, for, it is heartfelt for my for for me to everyone out there. Thank you very much for all all your consideration, um, concern, support, everything else during this trying time. I am pretty well off. I am still off and kicking. I'm still making some videos. I will be making more. It just depends when and a whole bunch of timing issues because again videos are fairly quasi simple to make I just need my computer working electrics electric electricity is good and probably no one being a big pain or pest about stuff so yeah other than that again I like to thank everyone for watching um I would say enjoy the videos, but yeah, some of them are pretty depressing. Uh, mainly it's what happened in my house and my, and my neighborhood. But again, stick around till the end of the video when you too can learn to make a drunken cheesecake. I always have to think on the positive side. Again, well, I already felt positive. You know, there are women's in bikinis out there still by the beachside, so that's all I need. So ladies, Realize that if you want to make everyone around you feel positive, wear a bikini. Yep, that's it. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe.
here. So I have my glass full of ice. The first step to making a drunken cheesecake, because again, all my, my materials present. It's another big cheesecake, so it just takes a while to cool off. So this video might take a while to make. But again, the first thing to do if you're making a drunken cheesecake, there's only one thing to do, and that's you have to go for the rum first. A little rum and coke. It's past four o'clock, so it's okay. There we go. I'm not a huge fan of rum and coke, so I like my rum with cherry coke. Nice frosty cold glass there. Well, that's not bad. Being cheap rum, that's pretty good. And then we start to get to making the cheesecake. Okay, now that I've had my delicious I guess I'm going to show the label. Rum and cherry coke. See, let's start making stuff. Got my pie crust here. My mixer, I think I'm going to use this because I know I don't need the bread hook. That seems too fancy, so this looks about right. Let's see here, so according to this, I have my cream cheese that's been softening. So very simple. I'm going to use two because I think this is a pretty big pie crust. You open up said cream cheese package. And I have my nice mixing bowl here. So literally I can take this out. And honestly I'm just dumping it in. Ooh. That smells good though. Cream cheese always did smell good. So, into the mixing bowl. One eight ounce, I guess this is eight ounces. Oh, this is eight ounces. That's, that's pretty cool. I somewhat measured something for a change. Woohoo! And then according to this direction, because I've never used this before, there should be two packets in here. Whipping stuff. I don't see why I was whipping stuff. Oh, well. sear. I think I'm gonna bake this now that I think about it. So, so you add this. Contents of package in there. Let's see here. It says eight ounce continuum whip topping. I don't know. I don't know what the whip topping is supposed to be. But what I'm going to do is just a mixing bowl of goods. I'm gonna whip this up a little bit. Let that do its magic. While that's going, we're gonna put the second one in. We're using two things. Ooh, this is coming out fairly good. I think getting two is the right number though. Conference the best, by the way. 
Second package in. Okay, so I added the second thing of cheesecake. Now it's going to, this is kind of to taste, pour in some rum. I think just to be sure, I'm just going to add one egg in. I think I'm going to bake this now that I think about it. They do, because part of the baking process is that you're going to actually let the flavor of the rum be there, but you have to reach on the alcohol. I have one egg. They don't have the cream stuff. Get kind of whipped in there. Let's stir up. Let go for a couple of minutes, get everything incorporated. Let's see, I'm gonna get my little cake pusher downer thing. Put that. Not that drawer up. That's the one I'm looking for. Then just kind of get a lot of goodness off. That in there. And I'm going to let that mix up for a little bit. And I'll be here right back. Okay, so I just pulled the cheesecake out of the oven. And I only had one big slit in it. That's not too bad. I'm going to brown a little bit at the top. That's probably like rum and stuff. Well, you can always tell any cake's done. You put a toothpick in. I'll tell you what, that's pretty clean looking. That means everything's done. Now it's just a matter of letting it cool off. And be careful because this is hot water in this pan. That's why I use gloves. And just kind of slide that out first. Dump off steaming hot water. Steaming hot water is bad. There. And place in the refrigerator. So hopefully this should be done. Actually, a few more hours. Let's see here. Where am I going to put this? Again, this foil is going to be hot, so it's not something I suggest not using stuff for. Put that right next to the Coca-Cola that cool off for a little bit, and it's almost done, baby! There she is, the hobo cat. So, yep, so the cheesecake should be done. Let's see here. The rum and the coke. Why is the rum always gone? I wonder. Let's see, let's go get grab said cheesecake. Should get a little knife and fork out here. Don't need Christmas plates. Mm. Should be good enough. You know, this is a my first cheesecake in a while. Let's use a properish dessert plate. That's set up there. Wow, 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 wow thing. You make everything groovy. Oh. Big spatula to see here. But look, I know it kind of deflated, and that's normal. So that's, that looks good, though. Ooh, that's heavy feeling. That's good, heavy, heavy cheesecake for a cheesecake. Especially if it's a drunken cheesecake. Let's see here. Cut a little piece off here. Very creamy, is it? This might be really rich. Let's see here. That's good. That knife is pretty clean looking. The 
first piece is always the hardest to get out, though. Let's see here. Let's try a fork. You know, be older. Oh, wow. Besides that little top layer, that's, that's a pretty good way to get sear. Mm. Got a little taste here. Oh, wow. That is good. That is good stuff. That probably looked terrible, but... This drunken cheesecake is freaking amazing. Wow. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Everyone be safe during this hurricane. And again, I'd like to thank the whole bunch of people that I listened before. If you would like your own personal thank you, again, like, share, comment, subscribe. Find me at the Discord sometimes when I watch pro wrestling. I'll see everyone later. Bye.